So I can't remember the title that I had picked out for this, but whatever. So I'll remember it before I put the title up there. But it's verses that I think we've heard so much that we don't really realize what they mean anymore. Just like if you're told from the time you were born that Jesus died on the cross for you and that he took your place, it doesn't really have as much of an effect. Like, I was told that for so long that I never really realized what it meant until I was 15 years old. And finally it sunk in that, you know, I deserved to die on that cross. But Jesus Christ, who never did anything wrong, ever, he took my place. And not only did he take my place, but he took the place of the murderers. He took the place of the atheist on YouTube who tells people that praying, praying is stupid. He took everyone's place. And so the first verse that I'm going to start out with, with this series, is John 3.16. Because John 3.16... I think is the most well-known verse in the Bible and we really forget what it means. John 3:16 says, "For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that whosoever believes in him may not perish but have eternal life." And that is just ridiculous that God would give his only son. How many fathers do you know would give their one and only son and kill them for you? I don't know too many people who would kill their only son for me. I mean, I'm not that great of a person. You know, Romans, it's around Romans 5, 8, I know, says that, um, you know, this is paraphrasing, but it says that people will rarely die for a righteous man. They still would kind of think that they wouldn't want to do that, but for someone who had murdered someone or someone who wasn't even going to be thankful they're not going to want to die for them. Like, I wouldn't want to die for someone like that. I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't either. Not many people would. But Jesus did. And God gave him as the perfect sacrifice for us. And this is something that's so amazing and so unbelievable that we just forget it. We just forget how... How... God just loves us. How much He loves us. He loves us so much that He gave us Jesus. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I am so thankful that I live in a country where I can say Jesus' name. Because there are some children who, if they say the name Jesus, will have boiling hot water poured down their throat so they can never say that name again. But I live in a country where, yeah, I might be persecuted for being Christian, but I still have my religious freedom. And the persecution I go through is nothing like the persecution that other Christians go through in other countries. And that's a little off topic, so I'm going to get off of that. But, yeah, I just think that that's a wonderful verse that we just forget so often. And... We go about our lives and sometimes we can't even bear to get 15 minutes up to read our Bible every day. But really, we should give our whole lives up because Jesus gave his up for us. How are we showing our thankfulness to him? What are we doing to help others and to pass it on?